Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm going to show you guys a very quick, easy way on editing a video in iMovie. Um, unfortunately, this video will only be for MacBook users. However, I'm pretty sure if you guys go on YouTube and research whatever system you guys could use that your computer brings, um, I'm pretty sure that you guys can find something similar to the video I'm making today. So by the end of this video, um, learn how to just put a few clips together uh, so that they look a little bit seamless and that um, it's really super simple and hopefully you guys could benefit from this. So we'll start out with um, applications. You'll look for your applications and find your iMovie. We'll click that and it will automatically populate. In this case, mine was already up. Um, from there, you'd be able to create a new project. Right now, my project had already been started, um, but in this case, I'm going to go in there and pretty much open up my current project. From there, fortunately, hopefully you guys have already uh, update, uploaded your clips to your computer, and you would go to the little arrow and import. Um, right now, what I'm doing is now looking for whatever clip that I have like in my document or um, on my desktop that I would want to upload onto my project I would highlight them and then click import selected once those are up um, then they will automatically pop up in your my media for your project uh, in this case mine's were already on there as you can see I'm now trying to pick a title for my actual project what you do is you click whatever you like, um, whatever title is appealing to you, and you drag it down. As you can see, I am now typing uh, the title of my project, and that is going to be the beginning of my video. Once that is, you can, as you can see, that clip is four seconds long. You can adjust it to however long you like, so I'm adjusting it to the two seconds that I want the first clip to last. Um, from there, you can go back to my media. As you can see, all my clips are uploaded on there right now, and um, I'm currently just trying to pick where I want my video clip to begin and where I would like it to end. So you would just click on there and highlight and drag it all the way to wherever you want your clip to end. As you can see above, we have different clips, my audio, um, titles, backgrounds, and transitions. Um, and then from there, once you, as you can see, it looks like I'm pretty much done with whatever I want my clip to start and end. And I would grab it and drag it down. Once that's done, I go to transitions. That's pretty much so that you can make sure that one clip uh, goes smoothly onto the next. So I have pretty much found the clip that I like. I'm going to click on it and drag it down. Once I have that, I now I'm going to audio. Um, there's a few options in audio that you can go through. Um, as you can see, I found the one that I like, and you would click on it and drag it onto wherever you want your audio to be. In this case, I want it to be at the beginning, so I drag it down, and it'll um, be right under my um, introduction. And you can also adjust the site, the however long you want that to be. Going on next, I'll go back to titles. I want to add a title onto that clip of the girl speaking. Um, I want to make sure that as she's speaking, you guys have a better understanding of what it is that she's talking about. In this case, it's slippery slope. Um, I picked the one that I liked and I dragged it down to above the actual clip. That way I can make sure that it's not going on its own um, little page, like let's say the first title, um, but I want it to show up on the actual clip of the video. Um, and then as you can see, I typed in slippery slope and now you can even edit to whatever color you want those letters to come out under. In this case, the letters I chose were interfering with the girl's clothes, so I didn't feel like it looked appropriate. Um, also, she's in the middle of it's in the middle of a clip, so it doesn't make sense for me to have it there. In this case, you can click it, uh, click delete, and it'll automatically take that part off. Now I'm going to go back and find something that's more appropriate for this clip. And I was able to find one with letters on the top left corner uh, where it won't interfere with, this, uh, with the actual clip itself. Um, but it can also label so that you guys, um, so, that your view so that your viewers can understand 
you know what's going on that you can actually you can actually label your clip itself um and now i feel like it looks a lot better and just a little bit more um those letters are a, li a little bit more appropriate for the clip that i want to use them for so uh so i'm hoping that with this video you guys were able to just have a quick view on how to edit a video and how simple it really can be if you guys have any additional questions you guys can always feel free to ask uh, thank you so much for watching